Hey, what's up everybody? This is Easy Speeds and Feeds. And today we are going to do work coordinate systems for all six of our operations. So, let's get started. Here's our part. It's rectangular. Has some surfaces on it. Some curves, some at an angle. We also have some holes and some pockets. It's about 4 inches by 1.5 inches. So we go to view and we'll show our axes by clicking those two buttons. And what we want to do is add our first plane for our first operation. So we'll duplicate the top plane that just shows up when you start Mastercam up. And we'll call the duplicated plane level 100 or plane 100. We want to get that plane to a somewhere where we can touch off the machine. So we want to add some wireframe so we can move our planes around easier. Curve all edges. This will take a second to load. We'll add a third level and we'll take all of our wireframe we just created and put it on that third level. We'll call that level wireframe. So, if you go back to planes, go back to plane 100, click edit, and we can move it towards the top of the part, which is where we want it. Not exactly right there, that's not a good touch off spot. So what we need to do is reselect level 1 which is just a solid, select all of it and click on silhouette boundary. This will just create wireframe pr uh, profile around your solid. And this will help us set up the stock. Because that's ultimately what we want to touch off, right, is the stock. So, we want to find the center of this part. And then we want to add the stock. Anchor to center, and we'll create the stock. And we'll make it, we'll try 4.75 by 1.5. Actually, we'll go 1.75 by 4.25. We'll just pretend it's that size stock we're starting with. And we will put the stock on a different level and we'll put the profile on a different level. So we select the stock, right click, click on change level, and we'll move it to level 4. Then we'll create another level called profile and this is just a perimeter of the part and we'll click on that wireframe that's generated and we'll right click we'll send that to level 5 So we'll delete those two things because we don't need them. And now we can move our plane to the corner of the stock, which is a really easy touch-off point. And that's kind of what we want, easy touch-off points for this part. So for operation one, we're just going to touch off the stock and we'll touch off, we'll probe the corner. And we will add a machine group, we'll call that 100. So we have plane 100. Operation 100 in our toolpaths keeps things simple. And now we'll add a 200, and then we'll duplicate the 100 plane and make that 200. So as you can see, we're moving on to the second op and how and where we want this plane. So we'll edit 200, we'll move it to this back face. 
then we'll rotate the Z up 180 degrees, click the check mark, and now that's, that's looking like it's in a better position. What we want to do is we'll have stock left over on operation 200. And so we'll try to create that stock and wireframe and then move our plane onto that stock. So, you know, that would just be the easiest place to touch off. I'll, we'll, I'll show you what I'm talking about right here. We'll create another level called stock op 200. And what we want to do is transform the stock from operation 100 to the 200. So we'll select the op 100 stock and we're going to move it after we measure the depth of this part is 0.75. So we're going to move it 0.75 and we're going to copy it. So now we have stock for operation 200. And we're going to move that to level 6. So now we got our stock and our plane on the same Z level or Z height and now we can move the 200 plane to the corner of the stock. So in the second operation all we're going to do is just remove the stock. We're not going to do anything else. And we're going to label 200 remove hat. So we're ta just taking the hat off the back. Next, we're going to go 300, where we actually do the work on the back, like that angled surface and deburring the thing and whatnot. So what we want to do is now that there's no stock left over, we can actually probe the part. But we need to have a theoretical corner, because our corners are curved. So what we want to do is create two intersecting lines make sure they're not angled at all okay create a point position at the intersection okay and now we delete those lines and we can make a plane 300 right at that theoretical meetup spot okay so there, we can just probe off the, the part in X and Y, and that can be our plane 300, and we can do all of our work off this plane. So, there's three ops done. Now we will go to our side holes, operation 400. So du duplicate plane 300, call it 400, and now, like before, we have to move it to the side of the part. So we just have level 1 selected, which is just a solid, we'll edit 400, we'll rotate the Z up 90 degrees, So now, that looks like a pretty good position, but we can still add um, a profile to the part just in case we want to move it, even though that is a, a pretty good probing spot. So it's at that theoretical corner. I think for just putting a side hole in, that's actually a pretty good spot to probe off of. So all we have to do is add a level 7, type in, we'll name it uh, op 400 profile, and then move all this wireframe we just created to level 7. 
So we can select plane 400, select level 7 op 400 profile, and then select toolpath 400, and then everything we're doing will be on the same level. We won't have a bunch of extra lines or anything, so it'll be easier to concentrate when programming this op. Next is operation 500, which is the other side holes. So we just duplicate it, edit it, and move it. Put it at that point just for now. And then we'll rotate our Z up 180 degrees. Next, we'll just add a silhouette profile and we can click on the theoretical corner right there nice and um, that looks good we'll create another level and we can move this uh, wireframe to its own level so we can select it when we're programming this op 500 so select wireframe move to level 8 perfect now is the last op which is an angled surface after we create the toolpath 500 of course to go along with plane 500 okay so that's op 5 that's done and that's all set up So we just turned off the axis because I was kind of getting in the way. We don't really need it right now. So operation six or 600 is going to be the angled surface. So we duplicate 500, name it 600. And we will move it to this face. We're going to try to figure out a way to line it up just right so it's in a good touch off position and programming position. So we're going to angle it at 135 degrees. And then we're going to move our Z up, let's see, 90 degrees. Okay, we're starting to get somewhere. Next, that's not a very good touch off position because you can't touch off your Y so well, but your X, you can, and your Z, you can, if we angle this part in the, in the machine. So what we want to do is just have level one activated and then create a silhouette boundary. First, we're going to analyze this and think for a minute about what we should do. So this is a point where I, I think about it for a couple minutes. But anyways, we have level one selected. We go to wireframe, go to silhouette boundary, and we use this wireframe, which is a little bit easier to use to find a good um, point for our coordinate system. And we move it up to middle top. So the idea is you could do a probe uh, X web where you go and probe both sides and then find the center and then probe Y somehow we we thought that was probably the best way to go at it for now and then we just make level 9 call op 600 and then we move our created wireframe to level 9 so there is six operations. We got our level one, and that's our stock. And then we got our 
Operation 200, and there's our stock for Operation 200. And then we have our Operation 300 plane, which is the theoretical corner. And then we just have um, wireframe for this level. No need for stock in Operation 300. Just just need the wireframe because the stock is gone by now. Probe right off the part. And then plane 400, which is Operation 4, is that theoretical corner. Operation 5, the Z side holes, that theoretical corner. And then Operation 6, the final op, is this angle. But what we notice is that our work coordinate system is not in a good spot. We thought we put it in the right spot, but we didn't. So we look at it from the side and we can tell that the Z is off. If we touch off that face, the Z is going to be off. So what we need to do is go to levels. We need to move our, our zero. So go to activate level nine. Go to planes, edit 600, and choose right in the middle. Okay, so that's in a better spot. Our Y is at the top, our X is in the middle, and our Z is right on that face, which is what you want. So there's our six work coordinate systems. Uh, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Uh, subscribe for more and uh, thanks for watching.